Hello and welcome everybody to this video. Here's Ahmad Nasser from Ahmad Nasser Turnkey Solutions. And in this video, we just want to show you how to integrate Unity 5.2, the latest edition of Unity, with Visual Studio 2015 and get started with it. So basically, you need to download the latest version of Unity right now, which is 5.2, and download the extension tool. When you, once you download that, you're going to see this message. You need to select this feature for Microsoft, Microsoft Visual Studio Tools for Unity. Once you select this feature, you can go to the next step. So you need to download Unity 5.2 and with the extension tools for Visual Studio. And after that, you need to download Visual Studio 2015. You can download it from visualstudio.com and you go to this link and you choose your own Visual Studio copy. If you use a Mac or Linux, you can still use Visual Studio. It's not for only for, for the Windows environment. So here we have uh, Visual Studio Community Edition, Visual Studio Online, and Visual Studio Code. You can use Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Community Edition in order to develop your script. Uh, for Visual Studio Code, uh, basically, it's a cross-editing platform, a cross-code editor platform. You can download it. Uh, this is a new Visual Studio copy uh, introduced for Mac OS and for Linux and also for Windows. So you can download this copy. It's a free and open source platform. You have also Visual Studio Community Edition. You can get your own license for free for this Community Edition and enjoy the development and the Microsoft Technologies. I, I don't want to download it right now because I already got my own copy two months ago. It's not a new uh, feature. Here you can go Visual Studio and just click on the Visual Studio 2015 and you just run it. Okay, don't to, don't forget to take my course into 3D Professional 2D Games Development. I'm just going to keep putting the link on this video. So right now I need to just get started with Visual Studio 2015. I'm just going to go to the game scene and here we're gonna go to main and I'm just gonna edit some script with Visual Studio 2015. So here I need to go to the game script and just click on edit script but when I click on edit script I'm just gonna open this link with uh, Visual Studio not the mono editor. So this is a new feature, a new mono editor, a no code editor for Unity and this is awesome. Here you can see my license of uh, my license Visual Studio has been expired, so I need to uh, uh, renew this license. And basically, you can renew this license uh, by clicking to update the license and just renew your license. So here I'm just going to click that button and upgrade my license. You need just to type your email address, and uh, after that you're ready to go. So you need to type your Microsoft account. So it's a, you can register for Hotmail or any other account and just sign in with a Visual Studio uh, account. And I'm just going to use mine, ahmadnasir1 at hotmail.com. And just going to click uh, continue. Uh, you can use Gmail, not only Hotmail, but this is for registration. Uh, so you need to make sure that you have a Visual Microsoft account. Uh, you need to sign in with your username and password and uh, just click uh, the sign in button to renew your uh, account license. So it's just going to take a few seconds. Okay, we're getting things ready. That's awesome. So right now you can see I just renewed my license and you can see here uh, the license right now is valid and I can use Visual Studio uh, with Unity to develop the game script and to use all the features that are embedded in the great Microsoft uh, or the best one of the best editors in the world which is Microsoft Visual Studio. So I'm just going to click close button and uh, go back to the Visual Studio. It's opened and you can see here we are on the game.c sharp script and you can see here is the same experience as Mono Editor but in Visual Studio environment. So in the previous videos, in the previous section where, where, where did we start the monetization part for Start App, I just going to cancel out the previous script in order to let you see in your eyes the current version running on Unity 5.2. So I'm just going to go to uh, comment the line of using Start App 
uh, because I don't want to run the script in, on the mobile right now. I just want to test it out on the uh, on the player on the PC. So I'm just gonna comment these lines in order to turn off Star Tab temporarily until I'm just gonna finish this demo. So just comment these lines, and yeah, you can just go save all these changes. You can see here you are in Microsoft Visual Studio environment. And uh, yeah, we basically, uh, you can see here the, the solutions that we have. We have assets, uh, we have uh, uh, the script files, the same, but it's much better than the motor air. The, the experience, the development experience is much more better. And also you have more uh, debugging tools or you have more uh, uh, consoles, you have more, uh, more features with this uh, IDE or integrated development environment. So you can see what is the current uh, uh, namespace you have for this object. You can just hover over it and see uh, many options. Also, you can go to any of these options and just right click on it and uh, see the different options that you have. You can go to the definition and see uh, where's the current class and just go see different options. Uh, here, including breakpoints, you can make breakpoints and debug your script. Uh, this is really awesome, and I just recommend everybody to use uh, Visual Studio instead of the Moto editor that was in Unity. So right now, I can click in the new button here, Attach to Unity, in order to to see the script attached to Unity. So this is gonna be synced with. The, the 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 unity player so when once you run your unity you're just gonna see uh, uh, the debug mode running here in visual studio so this is something awesome when you click on that button you can just stop and stop the debug mode if you want to make breakpoints you can do that here but if you stop it you cannot uh, keep watching the breakpoints so I'm just gonna uh, keep it running so you can see it's running you can click the pause or stop button I'm just gonna go to unity right now and click play and you can see here we are playing on unity 5.2 everything works fine you can see we got the old console in unity and also we got the, the new console here in unity uh, 5 and in visual studio you got, you got two consoles right now one of the unity and one for visual studio and this is something awesome you can you can uh, debug your script more easier you can debug uh, uh, web services you can do many things here in visual studio yeah so right now I'm just gonna give you a quick demo here about uh, the game we just I just installed unity 5.2 and tested out everything in the previous section we got the uh, advanced UI kit integration in our course into 3d professional 2d games from A to Z and I just showed you how to integrate it with unity 5 and just right now, I just want to show you how is everything running correctly with Unity uh, 5.2. So you can go play and you can play uh, as normal. Everything go just smoothly. And uh, you can uh, uh, go back to the stages and we can go play again. And uh, basically, I can go reset the, to the fact to factory settings and uh, just reset the game to the factory saying click play again I just gonna one got one level so everything is integrated with unity 5.2 we don't have any problem and this is something awesome and uh, yeah this is pretty much uh, all the story guys behind integration of unity 5.2 with Visual Studio 2015 so thank you guys for watching this video all the time here's Ahmad Nasser from AhmadNasr.com and Ahmadnaz Turnkey Solution. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to leave us a good review. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thank you.